What's good, YouTube? I've received a challenge, a, a dare, if you will, to play BES, and I couldn't do it, but I could do a list with a BES card in it, which is basically close enough anyway. So here is my machine skill drain beat deck. We've all kind of seen decks like this in the past. I was running to quite a few of these Barbaros skill drain beat things. Uh, like a month ago or so, but they're they're not they're nothing new. You know, people played this type of stuff back in the day, so we we went like the full machine route with it. We're on, uh, of course, Big Core MK2. Those of you don't know what this does, it's like a 2400 with a pseudo Barbaros effect in that you can just normal summon it if you control no monsters. Actually, it's kind of more like it's kind of more like that one majestic mech thing that's 24 and kills itself. Um, so you can just normal summon, you have to control no monsters, which is an obnoxious restriction and makes it quite bad, but, you know, we're playing it anyway, um, it will kill itself if you don't have skill drain, otherwise it's just 24, so it does get over more stuff than Barbaros does, um, actually quite a lot more stuff, you can just, like, normal it and trade with Kai's, so there's situations where it's, it's actually better, but yeah, we're on this, we're on the Barbaros, we're on the full Machina package, the Machina cards are just insane, they're really good, we're on Sidra's, we're on Gadgetrons, we're on the full field spell package as well, on limiter removal, I feel like we play enough machines in here, and MK2 is just gonna kill itself anyway, so we might as well double it, um, and then of course skill drains with a bunch of traps, I don't normally main bottomless, but I think it's pretty good in here, we're playing a stun sort of deck, so more trap cards is fine, and then also it's great versus Cyber Dragon, it's like the best card you can have versus Cyber Dragon, and Cyber Dragon will mess you up. So we gotta have it. And I mean, extra deck is we, we don't play tuners, so I was just really lazy. Um, don't don't at me for this. Uh, I'll build a real one later, I promise. And uh, we got a side too. So yeah. Anyway, we've rambled enough about the deck. Let's go ahead and get into the match. All right, I'm feeling paper today, and paper continues to kill it. Excellent, excellent. All right. We're going to start out, see how we can open up here, dust shoot Lamau. <laughs> well, I guess we win. <laughs> I guess we just win. I don't know. Um, I don't feel like summoning any of this right now. Should I? I could summon Barbaros, maybe. Wouldn't be terrible. Nah, let's just wait a turn. I feel like we just go for it here with the... Do we be greedy? Let's be greedy with the dust shoot, actually. Earlier I wasn't greedy, but this time I am going to be greedy because I feel like baiting the spell trap removal matters. Alright, um, when this resolves we're going to dust shoot so we don't get like absolutely owned by the 4300 of the face. Definitely got punished for holding it there. I don't advocate holding it all the time. In situations like this where you don't draw other spell traps it might just be better to, oh my god. Okay, mm how to go about this? I think, I mean, it's just Fortress though, right? Uh, so, Forest, Call the Haunted, Oppression, Dust Shoot, Bottomless Trap Hole. Hopefully he sets it all and just loses to Storm. That would be pretty great. I mean, we're going to be activating Storm no matter what he does. So we can get this Gear Town off. But yeah, um, probably should have just shotgunned it because I don't have any other spell traps here. So it's like, even if he had spell trap removal, it's kind of a dead card in his hand. But I was just figuring maybe I would draw skill drain later and that could be an issue. But I think in a normal situation... Oh, he said it all. He's about to get owned. Alright, so we get standby dust shooted, which we expected to happen. He has to take gear frame actually because I just drew that and it's insane. But uh, yeah, we're going to activate gear town and then storm... And then uh, I think we win from from that position. I think we do win. Hmm. Should we summon the the big core for style points though, rather than the Barbaros? I think it's better to summon the Barbaros here actually, because the big core gets over more stuff. You know, if I get like Fortress next turn or something, and he beats over my Barbaros. You can just like summon big core and get rid of it so maybe it is the optimal can you just like it's the obvious choice oh my god <laughs> there's no way that's wrong just take the freaking guy okay uh yeah um we're, we're gonna storm you buddy we are gonna storm you so the effect of my gear town will get me gadgetron and then we will go 
from Barbaros. And we know the hand at this point is Mirror Force plus, no wait, Machina Force, well Mirror Force, I should have really specified. Machina Force plus Call of the Haunted. Okay, did they take the right amount? I think they did. Should have been 12 plus 1931, yeah, okay. So it's Machina Force Call of the Haunted, neither of those cards does anything right now. Neither one does anything. Call can keep him alive for a turn if he just goes dang with it. So he needs like a crazy top deck to help him out of this situation. He needs like another gear frame. Another gear frame would be pretty sick. Redrawing the fortress is like less sick. But he could get it back with Call after it died, which wouldn't be terrible. I feel like we're probably going to a game number two at this point, though. Alright, well, it can have my guy. And there's a set call. That's a Sidra. Can I go for a game with MK2 to make him use that call badly? Let me think. So it's 200 damage. It's 2100. Shoot, I'm going to be 100 short. Right? Or... Actually, a little bit more than 100 short. Alright, we're just gonna have to, like, eat this call, then. The Cyber Dragon's a really good draw, though. Oh, I should have attacked with Gadgeltron first to play around. Just in case it's not Call of the Haunted. I've just been, like, a... Oh, no, wait, we know for short it's Call of the Haunted. What am I talking about? Because that card in his hand is Machina Force. Okay. Hello? I would like to attack with Gadgeltron. So, yeah. He's probably going to call back the Gale and, like, have Gadgeltron again or something. Or maybe he's got a Synchro play. I don't really know. It'd still be pretty sick if he could draw a gear frame, but um, us having the Cyber Dragon kind of just feels like checkmate here. Like, even if you clap me back, this card is just going to blow you out again at some point. Hmm. We can always bring this guy out. We gotta end the game by bringing this guy out. <laughs> it's the most base thing about this list. We gotta be honest. So he's gonna use the call, presumably on the Gale. So he can put my Gadgeltron to nine or to seven fifty. But he's not gonna do that. He's gonna put Barbaros to nine fifty. So we take two fifty. Is that right? Or is it 350? I think it's 350. Alright, and the opponent also drew a set monster. Huh. We could use this Gadgeltron to, like, re-summon a, a new Gadgeltron, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna hit over the Gale. Because we can just do that anytime. We can go, like, Fortress in to do that, you know? All right, it's Fossil Dyna, which they apparently main deck. But that means they're not, like, summoning a bunch of stuff. And we can just get over that with... Well, now we can just get over that with this. We are, we are holding the MK2 to the last possible second. <laughs> so the opponent takes 300, or 700. Why, why can't I do math this game? What the hell? <laughs> We know they're on force in hand and like one other thing they didn't want to commit. Okay, they're just scooping. Dang it, I didn't get to summon the MK2. No. <laughs> oh well. Um, I don't really know if I want to side against this. Maybe like this over a Starlight Road or something. Thunder King's actually pretty nuts. But I'm not, I'm not in a siding mood actually. Maybe if I lose game two, I'll become in a siding mood, but I just want to mess around with the... The main deck looks kind of cool. It actually looks kind of sick to me, looking at this. <laughs> like, maybe the MK2 is a meme, but... I don't know. I, mean, I, gotta, I gotta summon it one time, surely. One time in this video, I need to summon the guy. 
he's like the whole reason we're we're, we're doing this <laughs> sort of in a way you know maybe i should bring in like thunder how many outs we have like a bunch of dine outs though skill drain's technically a dine out too yeah we, we don't need to worry about that if we lose and we're going first we can bring in like thunder kings or something at that point this hand kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie it's pretty mid It would be better if I drew if I drew the BES monster, because then I could at least summon the fortress. Alright. We'll draw MST. I'm content to just set MST. I feel like we're chilling. Alright. It's a pass back and forth fest. I'm kinda down for that. Hmm. Wasn't able to summon this all game last game. Never just never got a chance when I controlled no monsters, so I. Hmm. But I don't want to slam it now either, and I don't want. I feel like this is pro set heavy, so I'm I'm not gonna play into that. Maybe I should just space it, though, and then, like, set a back row so I don't, like, randomly take... All right, I gotta at least pretend like I've got something here. Like it's torrential. All right, we're gonna take 25. The fact that they pitched their Cyber Dragon to do this is very good, though. Because that card is spooky. That card is spooky, and we are both playing it. Yeah, I kind of have to keep this in hand, though, to summon my own fortress, so... It's just the way it is. Hmm. I hope he sets a monster. Damn. Why didn't he want to set a monster? Alright, alright. So... We can go space the back row, pitch fortress, summon fortress. That seems like a... This would have been so much better if he just set a monster, though. Wait, is this thing mandatory? Holy crap, it is. Wait, that means mine's gonna start a chain, though? And it could, like, make... My... I'm thinking, like, I could activate Terraforming, get Gear Town, and make him pop it, but... Will mine still try to pop, since it's mandatory, even if there's no cards? And then that might, like, make it miss timing or something? I don't want to get into weird ruling territory, so I'm just going to crash. <laughs> Someone's got to tell me how that would work, though. Will this still be, like, chain link one um, in that situation where I crash with gear town on the board and it would make my gear town this time? Hypothetically, if I did do that, which I didn't, but if I did. Because I don't know. It sounds super weird to me. This game's too complicated. Hmm. I might just stop that. I feel like this person is just playing around the uh, the power traps from how they played last turn. All right, they're just going to bring it back again. That means there's no more force, right? Okay, yeah, they only played two of that. All right, fortunately, we're not going to be taking any more damage this turn. But we are getting dangerously low. You know, it just occurred to me, I feel like I th I forgot to put Limiter in this deck. And Limiter is probably pretty good. Hmm. What should I do? I don't know. At the same time, Limiter is a card that feels kind of overrated to me, I think. That card is just really bad a lot of the time. Alright, well, we drew Gear Frame, which is really good. Just kind of nuts, actually, if you think about it. And then we'll get this. Then we'll summon back Fortress. Then we'll go Equip. Could also go for the Crash, but I think it's better to play around Mirror.
Hmm. And if... Okay, he's got book. That's not a particularly clean out, so... Whatever. We're chilling. And we're going to set the mirror force, and we're going to pass. I guess he's now thinking he can do the same thing I was going to do, where he's going to make me target his guy, and then I'll get to rip a card. But I can just flip mirror force. Unless he has the space typhoon or something, which that would be that would be rough. He hasn't had back row removal yet, though, so kind of counting on him not having it. And yeah, we're definitely we're definitely just flipping mirror force. You take those free outs to the fortress when you can get them. Hmm. Let's see what the opponent does. I might want to leave this fortress face down. Sirocco? What on earth is he cooking? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this must be like some weird side deck thing. Holy shit. He's pitching the fortress to... Or the third force, which he's also on the three force. That's wild. Okay. But we can just... Alright, there's no reason not to just go for the crash, right? I think we just go for the crash. There's no point in summoning Barbaros. Terraforming doesn't do well. We could pay 2k to summon Barbaros, I guess. But that doesn't feel great. Let's just flip this. And then we go for the crash. And then I can pop his Sirocco. It's going to compulse my guy. Okay. Well, now we summon the Cyber Dragon that we just ripped off the top. And we make Fortress. Which we have three of. <laughs> okay, I was a little bit lazy with the extra deck. I actually built a side this time, but... Uh, I didn't build a competent extra. Let's set the Terraforming just to... Make him... I don't know, he's probably playing as YOLO as he can at this point in the game, but maybe make him think twice. It's always it's always alright to have a bluff in a situation like this. I'm still wondering what the hell the Sirocco is for. Is it just because it gets over Barbaros? Is that really why? Okay, he's just going to use Book of Moon to hit over Fortress Dragon. That's not a particularly good play. Wait, 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 wait. Can I finally summon him? Can I finally summon him? I'm summoning him. Go, big core MK2. <laughs> oh, what a feeling. All right. We'll activate the terraforming. We'll get the mausoleum. And we'll set... The oh, he's just scooping. Why are you scooping? You're on 8k life. You could top deck... Avarice and be right back in this thing. Oh, he had the limiter. Whew. We came so close to losing that one. I should maybe play this card. There's probably enough machines in here to play this. Which is weird, because he's playing the version that just, like, doesn't play enough machines to play this. But he's on it. But I forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. Hope you guys... I mean, I got to summon the MK2. That was that was the dream. That was the hope. That was all I really wanted. This deck's kind of cool on it. Maybe I should play with it a little more. I feel like there is some good stuff going on beyond, like, the meme aspect. So, there there were some similar similar uh, similar lists running around, I don't know, like a month ago. Played against them a few times. Um, so maybe I could go somewhere with that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, become a channel member. Do all that stuff. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and until then, peace out.